Hi everyone, happy Sunday. So let's see if I can remember what all I started with. I don't think I have to go back through all these now that you guys can see the title on the bottom of the screen, thanks to Josh's expertise behind the camera. So I did, um, I won't, this won't be in order, but I'll try to remember them. I stand amazed in the presence. All that thrills my soul is Jesus. Uh, nothing between, tell it to Jesus and I'll meet you in the morning. So I think that actually was in order. Okay, wow. So now I'm going to play all of your requests. So as Josh, my husband, sits behind the camera, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. So this is a team effort. You see one side of the screen, but there's a lot going on back there. So he manages all that and the cameras and telling me what you guys are wanting to hear. So I'll play as many of them as I can. I've got my great hymns of the faith tonight. Let's see. And I have songs and hymns from the heart. That's the two hymnals that are sitting here tonight. So if you have either one of those and you've got a page number that you want me to play out of it, please feel free to tell me and I'll just turn to it and we'll go from there. So those are the two featured tonight, I guess. We'll call it that. All right. Well, I'm here. I hope I can be heard. Oh, there we go. If I turn it up, I'm sure everyone can hear me. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, the first one that I have is Love Lifted Me. Perfect. was there when it happened. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, I do know this. Hold on. It takes me a second. not thought of that one in a very long time. My parents used to sing that in the quartet with um, some other folks at our church, so that was a blast from the past. All right, ready? Yes. Nothing between. I played Wait, that one. Play yes, that, that one I'm I hit sorry. in the opening mel medley. I got Can't out of words. order. I like that song. Ferris Lord Jesus.
Next up is Standing on the Promises. That's a good one. I was going to ask, and then I thought, I don't know if I've done this before. I may have, but it'll be encouraging even if I have done it. So I just played Standing on the Promises that Cannot Fail When the Howling Storms of Doubt and Fear Assail. And I've heard from, in particular one, but I've gotten a couple messages this week of people that are just going through things that are kind of making them question their faith question salvation, question some things. And I'd like to encourage all of you to put in the comments a promise of God that has really ministered to your heart, that you've just clung to and you've seen God prove it in your life. And even if it's one you haven't necessarily seen him prove in your own life yet, but you know from experience of watching other people or you take it by faith in the word of God that this is going to be true. His promises do not fail. So if that is, you know, I will never leave thee or forsake thee is a great one I think of. And great peace have they that love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. My God shall supply all your needs. Just Let's just flood the comments with some good promises of God. And, and you might post a comment that encourages somebody else that really needs to see that phrase of Scripture, that promise of God tonight. I don't know, out of this many people watching, the chances are some of you are going through a really hard time. And it would encourage your heart to see God's promises. They do not fail. They're still true. Even when you can't see it, this, this person that reached out to me with doubt, I said, do not doubt in this time of darkness what God gave you in the light, what he promised you in that time of light. Because even when it's dark, his promises haven't changed. He hasn't changed. And you can depend on that. So I look forward to reading some of these. So go ahead and fill it up. All right. The yes... I'm responding to a comment. Because oh, okay. <laughs> I actually am watching both feeds. So imagine oh, yeah. that. I, I'm, I'm seeing the comments from both YouTube and Facebook, and I'm trying to be give attention to both of them, although it's not that easy to do all the time. <laughs> but I am making an effort. So, yes, that is something that we started last mm -hmm. week. We're live on both Facebook and F YouTube at this moment. And I'm getting everyone saying the sound is good, so that I did make some changes, hoping that that would work, and apparently it did, at least for this Praise week. Praise the Lord. So <laughs> we'll probably have different problems next week, but thank the Lord for this week. All right. I have a request. Okay. It's Jesus paid it all.
I'm going to play another version of Jesus Paid It All. I, you know, we're working our way through the Redback Hymnal on YouTube. So those sessions are all on there. I think we're at 9 or 10, something like that. Well, I recorded a bunch of them a couple days ago. And there's a version of Jesus Paid It All in there that's not the version I just played. It's the same tune. So you'll recognize the melody, but the rest of it is a little bit different. So I'm going to play through that because it's brand new to me. And I just learned it and it threw me for a loop. So this was a lot of fun. so fun. It has all these repeated parts and the tenors take the lead and the basses take the lead. The sopranos don't get it very much at all. I think they get one line of lead or, or maybe two. So it was fun, but that one was really different. So I asked Josh, I said, what am I practicing? He said, I can't tell. I said, it's Jesus paid it all, but it doesn't sound like what we would know of. Okay. All right. I was there when it happened. Is that not the one I played just a minute ago? I, I was there know. when it happened, and I I'm, guess I I'm struggling know. over here a little bit. It's okay. Actually. I played that one a minute ago. Okay. I was about to say, I think I was there when I played it, but we'll see. Were you sure? Yes, I, I, I am wasn't sure. there when it happened, apparently. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I played that one. All right. Well, I know you haven't played nothing but the blood. Yes, that's true. So I see that I'm I'm hearing that we're over a thousand on Facebook. Yes, we okay. are. Wow, thank you guys. That's great. That's awesome. Unfortunately, the the new way I'm doing that, I can't see that number. I see like the combined number, which happens to be thirteen hundred at oh, the moment. Oh wow, so that's amazing. Yeah, it says one awesome. K. That's what I have. Okay. On Facebook. And can it be?
nice. Thank you. That's one of my favorites for sure. It is mine too. Pastor preached on the love of God this morning. And at the end of his message, he said, I don't think I was able to express the love of God how I really wanted to. And I thought, I don't know if that's if it's possible to. Like God's love is so immense and it's it's hard to comprehend a love that loves in spite of someone's sinfulness. That's pretty mind blowing. So I don't know. I don't think we can adequately play enough notes, say enough words, sing enough songs that magnifies love too much. Amen. The old rugged cross. No, never alone. expected you to do another verse but that's okay that's one of those i think the verse and the chorus are actually like the same and so i wasn't sure which one i was doing at the moment <laughs> i was hoping i was on the right one so i do that with i feel like traveling on too i'm the same way on it it's like i get caught like is this the verse or the chorus when i'm playing it so i don't know if i did that quite right or not 288 let me make sure because if somebody requests that i think let's see I think it's pretty close. Yeah. Oh, it is. The chorus is even the exact same tune as the verse. Okay. So I'm not going crazy. Okay. Well, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> I think you just played through it one time. I right? did. I played a verse and a chorus. Perfect. Next up is The Comforter Has Come. Oh, I played this for Prelude tonight. <laughs>
done. My wonderful Lord. There's something about that name. There's something about that name. played that and about nine or ten others maybe I, th I think nine or ten Gaither favorites just some of I, they're my Gaither favorites I'm sure there are many more I could have put in that list but I just went through and thought of a bunch of them and we did a YouTube video of um, some of those great songs so that was one of them that's one of my very very favorites I like that song a lot all right do you know will the circle be unbroken yep <laughs> I'll just play a chorus again. I think the verse is super similar to the chorus, but I just had a brain freeze and couldn't think of how the verse started, if it's different. So... That's an old bluegrass I, song. I'm confused myself now. I, okay. I feel like it is different, but I'm not sure. I know I think the last half. It might half be one of those similar. ones that you start with the chorus and then a verse. Yeah. So it might be confused. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look it up and I then will. we'll be educated. That was the chorus. So. Before the throne of God above. Oh. <laughs>
constantly abiding. that on a live it has been a very long time I don't know that I've done that that's a really wonderful song so if you don't know the lyrics to that one look that up so when our church switched over to the rejoice hymnal which at the time was published by tempo publications in 2002 I'm nerdy so I remember that date but we switched from the redback church hymnal to the rejoice hymnal that song constantly abiding was in there so suddenly we started learning all these songs that we had never heard before and that was one of them. And I think it was one of the first hymns I ever had to learn to play in D flat, too. So it was kind of a challenge for me. I don't remember how old I was when I learned to play it, 13 or 14. But it was fun. So that was a great one to play. Brings back a lot of good memories. All right. How, um, how am I doing in my In your piano course, lessons? yes. So Josh is taking the beginner course that just came out a a couple weeks ago in mid-December and I hear him practicing he's been learning Jesus loves me I have decided to follow Jesus just as I am and he started at Calvary so he's doing very very well in fact this afternoon he was doing a little bit of practicing while I was finishing up some dinner stuff before we ate at my grandparents and he said Nat I think your course is successful and it's efficient. And I, I thought, well, wow, what a compliment. So he was the videographer behind it, but he's enjoying working through the videos and learning the chords and also he's a very good student. He's a very good practicer. So, Yes. I mean, I'm not all that. <laughs> I'm just saying the course is, is quite good, I think. Thank you. And that, I mean, we want it to be, but mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to know sometimes. So if anybody wants to learn how to play piano, I would I would recommend this beginner course. Well, thank you for that glowing endorsement. Now, I did I wasn't totally without any training. I took like 6 months in 3rd grade. So, you, you know, and I had dabbled um we had what's that cor um book that you use for adults? Alfred's All in One. Yes. I like that book a lot. So, I had um maybe done the first 50 pages yeah, or something like in that. that. But that was like over the course of three years <laughs> of every now and then sitting down. So I definitely didn't have much going for me. But um, And it's meant for the person who knows nothing at all. Like it starts off with where are the white keys and black keys and why are they different. So it starts at the very beginning. So it has, I endorse it. I don't know if anyone else does, but at least... That's exciting. <laughs> We're having a good time over on the Facebook group. So if you join, you get a link to join the Facebook group where we can comment to each other and really encourage each other and post videos of your progress and what you're learning. So that's fun. I've enjoyed it. All right. So next up is actually, arguably, my favorite um, hymn ever. And it is... It's either Haven of Rest or Near or Still Near. Nearer, still nearer. Okay, I knew it was one of the two.
So I went into take the world, but give me Jesus. So I didn't say right there. As I was playing that line in near, still near, I was hearing that give me but Jesus, my Lord crucified. Nothing else matters if you have the right relationship with Jesus because you know that no matter what happens to you in this life, your eternal destiny is absolutely secure. And it just seemed to go right into take the world but give me Jesus. Yesterday, today, forever. Uh, yes, I know that song, but I think I'm, I would love to try to challenge myself to do it without the hymnal. But I don't want to mess up somebody's favorite song, so I'm going to look at a hymnal for it. I saw a comment a, a few minutes ago. I don't know if you noticed it, but a lady said, and we may know you. I'm sorry. I didn't have time to catch the name of who wrote, but that um, their kids are greatly enjoying the beginner course. Oh, wonderful. So that's awesome. Well, thank you. And lots of other people are saying that they're enjoying it as well. That's what it's for. I think it's neat to see a community of people who love hymns just grow more and that you're learning how to play them. That's the best. So cool. Okay, let's see. Yesterday, today, forever. made a mistake so apparently willow had a request and i didn't see it oh no so. willow's my three-year-old niece and she likes to watch these so so try again willow or if someone else knows what yes it is. she can ask again so her uh, requests kind of get moved up a little bit <laughs> um no i won't play tonight um I will, I will do it, though. Yeah, and, we'll have you do soon. a special guest debut. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to prepare because we got home like five minutes before we started, and I'm not presentable, to be quite honest. We stood around fellowshipping after church too long, so not too long, but long too long to do. Okay. Have him play Jesus Willow wants me. power in the blood. She gets it. seeing all these comments of people seeing what Willow must have asked. I didn't get to see it, but they're like, Willow wanted power in the blood. That's what Willow's request was. So I hope you enjoyed that, darling. Well, I'm glad that I, after I said that, I had the sudden like fear. What if someone like said it was Willow's and it wasn't because I didn't <laughs> see it. But then I saw a lot of people said the same thing. So like, whew. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, funny. No one on here would do that though. I'm sure. Oh. He bore it all. He bore it all. Okay, that's another one I'm going to have to use the hymnal for. I, 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 I know that song, but 
sure as the world I would start and then it would not be sounding like that. He bore it all. The blessed say, uh, da, 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 da. He, Oh man. I thought I had that. Let's see. I can't think of where it is, so I'll find that one and actually learn it. I feel like I've seen it super. It might recently. be in songs and hymns from the heart. I looked at that one I don't, and I can't. Oh, I don't. Hmm. I don't see it, but I'll work on that one. I know okay. I've seen it very recently. Maybe hymns of faith or songs of faith, whatever. It probably is. In that I bet one. it's. In I don't that have one. that one over here. Oh well, I'm sorry. We tried. We'll work on that one. All right. I know you know this one. Hopefully, you remember it well enough. And that is, Ivory Palaces. Um, I don't know that I remember it well enough, but I do know that song. Let's see. If it's in this hymnal, I will play it. Ivory Palaces, 115. Need to get you to sing this one. I've sung it once in my life. We did it as a, a piano vocal duet around Christmas. <laughs> song oh for a thousand tongues to sing okay let's see there's two different tunes for it so get in before uh, we start wrapping it up? Not that I know of. Yeah. All right. Let's well, see. I have a few left. Go ahead. So yeah. I'm just going to... We just put sheet music for Lily of the Valley, which was um, something I'd been asked to do, like just a kind of a good Southern gospel style, full accompaniment pattern. And I really threw a lot in on that last verse. So if you're kind of wanting a challenge to see if you can get all those big windshield wiper motion where pianists have all that like big octave leaping going on. I threw a bunch of that in there on that last verse. So I kind of had a lot of fun with it. So enjoy that. It's up on the website, natalierainsmusic.com. So 
That's the newest thing on there. Here's a good one. I don't right. know that we've ever done it. I don't feel like I ever remember it, and that's the wonder of it all. Oh, I don't think we have. Um, let's see. on the firing line. has it been? So I don't know if a bunch of people are requesting the same one, but I'll do a verse of how long has it been? The last line of that says, how long has it been since you knew that he cared for you? And I hope it's been about one second because I'm telling you, Jesus cares for you no matter where you are. So that, that's a, I hope it hasn't been very long since you recognize God's care in your life. Like don't, don't go long without acknowledging him. I read yesterday in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Like get his direction, get his advice, get his wisdom before you go about your daily tasks. But he does care for you. He says he knows how many hairs are on your head. That's amazing. What level of detailed care God demonstrates for his children in knowing the number of hairs on their head. And he said, if a sparrow cannot fall to the ground, you know, he's not going to let one of his children fall either. So just, just trust him. Whatever you've got going on this week, I pray that you'll sense his presence very near. 
All right. Last song. Okay. Unless you want to add one to it. No, I think this yeah. is a great place to end. Yeah, whatever I'm ending with. All right. He lives. He lives. Oh, what a great one. Okay. So thank you all for joining us. I'm going to end with He Lives. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. Mm -hmm.